Last night, 2 a.m., I'm on my phone. Uh, I get stuck down this rabbit hole of what's in my camera bags. I don't know why I was so inquisitive at the time. Uh, I should have got a good night's sleep because I had a shoot today. And because I had that shoot today, my bag was nice and full. And I thought, for the next bloke that gets stuck down the rabbit hole of what's in my camera bags, I'm gonna give him one more video to take him from like 2.15 a.m. to 3 a.m. Sorry, pal. Starting in the middle, got the big dog, the ACAM, Red Dragon X. I leave it relatively built. Uh, it's got the battery on, it's pretty much ready to go. I, I always lose the lens caps and stuff like that. So I end up using my, my lens as a sensor cap so it remains attached to the camera. And I'm gonna use that to segue to lenses now. <laughs> uh, I've got the 24 1.4, Sigma Art Series. I have most of the primes in the Sigma series. It's the lenses I use the most. I've also got a couple of Canons, but these are definitely my go-tos. Way sharper. I've also got a 50 mil in here. The only non-Sigma lens in my kit currently is the 70 to 200 Canon, 2.8. I've had this lens for about five years. It is absolutely belted up to the shit house, but it still does an amazing job. And I love it. So it stays in. <laughs> uh, Segwaying to the top, I've got my variable ND. Um, I try to use this on most things so then you can keep that perfect shutter angle on your frame rates. Uh, I think this is six stops. Um, absolutely the easiest way because you can just twitch it to any environment. So that will never leave as well. That's also staying. Uh, the other filters I have are my Pro Mists, which I'd, I would use for probably 100% of my shoots. Um, I, I love how it just like kind of detaches that, the digital look from it, softens stuff up, makes it look like you've got haze in the background. Uh, I mostly use the 1 8th, the quarter's a little bit dreamy, uh, but the 1.8 is like, it's perfect. Oh, it just gives like just enough softness where it doesn't look ridiculous, like the bold and the beautiful, but it just looks nice, you know? And speaking of uh, mist, this is my atmosphere aerosol, which is extremely handy for any like partial setting that you're doing, any interview or anything like that. If you've got practical lights in the background, throw a bit of haze, probably a horrible example. It would look, it's too high key, I don't know. But anyway, it, it makes things look really nice if you're trying to like light things in the distance kind of thing and give volume to light. It's, it's perfect and it, it has so many uses and it's simple, you don't need a whole fog machine. It's also staying in my bag forever until it runs out and then I'll get another one, obviously. <laughs> Here, audio. I've got my road mic, which I use for anything that I need my road mic for. And here, I've got the dead cat for it. When I, I, I try not to use that, but if it's windy, obviously I'm gonna need it. Um, but yeah. That's in there as well. Also have my lav mics in there, up that end. Uh, obviously I'm using it right now, but normally it would be in there. For any interview that springs up and the client's like, oh actually we need an interview. And I was like, you didn't tell me that, but now I'm ready, you know? <laughs> so I'll leave that there. Uh, and probably the most important thing in my bag is this little case right here. This is where I keep the, the most essential things. I'm talking tape. You never know when you're gonna need to like tape something up. Tape like a bit, of, bit of a sheet to the window to make it soft, or like tape a light to somewhere. I don't know anything DIY. The most handy thing you can have in your bag. Second to that, my little Swiss Army knife thing that has like all the Allen keys and screws, and it's as well as self-defense. This thing is elite for actually practical things like screwing my base plates on and it, it, screwing handles on anything you need. Look at it; it's got so many. And if you get in a fight, going to the car park after the shoot. You're gonna win. So that goes in there as well. And then I've just got my little, my little Buffy boys. Just give them a squiz on the lens before you start, which I don't think I've even actually done. How much better is that? So they're essential as well. I put him at the most ready position because it has like most of the stuff that I'd go into my camera bag for. So I like to keep it all in one place. Uh, Canon 5D Mark III, um, it's my photo camera. I don't have any other real hybrid cameras that are good for photo. So I, I, I just have dedicated film and photo cameras. Uh, well, this is my only photo camera. Um, I've had it since 2015, never had a problem with it. I've dropped it about 9,000 times. Sometimes when I need a football and I want to play with my friends, I'll just use this instead because it's that robust. You never know when you're going to need a photo, so I'll leave that in there as well. And because everything I have is uh, EF mount, it's all native to either the Canon or the RED, which is perfect. I don't need two lots of lenses. It's all one shindig. Amazing. Uh, behind that, the drone. Mavic Zoom because I love parallax, so I can zoom into 48 mil, hoof around, get the most cinematic image possible. It's amazing how drones can be this small and I can have a flying camera. Phenomenal, it fits in the side pocket of my bag. I'm embarrassed at this, but I'm also not because it's extremely practical. This is my old school sock. I don't have a specific use for it. For some reason, I've, there's been times and I've been like, I, 
freaking need a school sock right now. I've, I've lost the lens cap, which half my lenses are lens socks at home because I always lose the lens caps because they're so small and they just, they just get up and walk away. So if I've got my sock, there'd be no glass getting damaged on my watch and it's going to throw that on just like that. It's a lens cap. People laugh, but it's, it's bloody practical, I tell you. Right, so let me, let me tell you about this. What I use it for is my camera strap for my RED because handheld, the RED doesn't have internal stabilization. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna handheld it, you probably want something, if you don't have a shoulder rig, you probably, because the shoulder rig won't fit in here, you probably want something that'll give you some level of stability if you're hand holding. If you just had a normal camera strap, it's solid to your neck, so when you walk, it jolts. But here, when I walk, the spring in this will take out a lot of my micro jitters. And it's heavy as well, so it kind of works perfectly. You know what I mean? It's just easier to, you can do whatever you want. Pans, it's like having a gimbal. Not as good, but it's like your DIY gimbal for when you, you don't know you want to, I don't know. And I just had two bits of string tied to it there. It's not string, it's rope. It's stronger than string. My two RGB f magnetized Falcon eyes lights or something. You, they're magnetic, you can stick them on whatever you want. I use them mostly for like the background practicals, as you've probably seen in my other YouTube videos. Um, usually for like a blue and an, and, a, and an orange, but on any sort of set, if you can just get a hint of like some hallway or something that you want to have like a bit of blue light coming out of, shine it down, haze it up, amazing. They've also got like your TV settings, like your television, lightning, party, police, any, any sort of thing like that. They're amazing. The battery life on them is horrible, so I leave the cable in here if I need to recharge it with a portable pack. Probably the most practical small lights I have. The only small lights I have. <laughs> and this little side pocket back here is where I keep my drugs. No, this is where I keep my monopod. Because again, if you need to throw like that light onto something, these have little quarter inches on the bottom, so you can just screw it into there, tie that to whatever you need. Uh, perfect, again, or like a camera tripod. I've got my real tripod, but you never know when you're gonna need a B-cam tripod. Uh, in the top is just a whole bunch of useless crap. Batteries, like you know the stuff that you get that you don't wanna throw away, because you're like, one day I'll use it, but you never end up using it? That's this stuff. I think it's like off a GoPro, I don't know. L literally just useless crap. And some not useless crap. A dollar fifty in small change. That's it, that's everything in my running gun bag. In all honesty, I usually have like five more bags. I've got one here. And I'll fill that just with like charges and stuff. Just cables and mess, anything else I need. But this is my, my main guy. This is with the important stuff. Yep, hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Love you lots.